Hey, good morning, guys. This is Thursday morning, September the 10th. And uh, I come back here to, to the pond this morning. I've got, uh, they're up and around up there at the house and uh, busy getting ready to leave. We got the road trip to Kansas City this morning. And uh, so I thought I'd come back here and, and do a video this morning. It's quiet and pretty nice. <laughs> Big old my little my little dog Angel. We call her Angel. Uh, is back here. Little Shizu uh, mix and uh, Shizu and a. I can't think what the other breed is, but she's a small dog, a little white dog. Uh, her name's Angel. <clears throat> they got her for me. Marcia got her for me uh, five years ago when. They pretty much thought I was gone, and I needed, I wanted a lap dog, and uh, well, she got this little pup for me, and so anyway, she's uh, she's five years old now, so <laughs> it didn't happen, you know. We're all on God's plan, you know. The doctors say one thing, but <clears throat> you know, until uh, God's time, it's all God's timing. So we're we're good with that. Oh, she's <laughs> chasing frogs. <clears throat> Pretty neat. She got that from the kids. The kids showed her frogs, and and uh, so now she knows what they are, and, and she likes to chase them. But these old bullfrogs back here, they get in the water, and she just watches them. She can't do anything with it. Ephesians 1, verse 2, and the reference is tied to it. You know, in the you get these Bibles that's got... And in the middle of them, sometimes you'll have uh, on a page, <clears throat> you get two columns. And right down the middle of it is references that they've got for a certain verse. And then so you chase that reference and take it back. And then it'll reference you to something else. And you chase that one down and then go to another one. And all those different references goes all through scriptures. Well, I pull them out of Paul's writings. I, I look through them and get the ones for Paul's writings. And that's what I stick with. The references in, in Apostle Paul, because he's our apostle for today. And I use the concordant literal translation because it's the best translation today. Uh, so that's that's what I do. And so these references that I use are only for Ephesians 1 verse 2. And <clears throat> of what I found in them. Uh, Kevin had shown me a, a couple of more uh, websites to go for different references. And uh, so I looked him over, and uh, so I appreciate that, Kevin. I, I keep looking because there's never no, you know, there's more references out there. But, you know, there's been a lot of people do references <clears throat> over time to get them into the scriptures. Uh, all the time that they put in, and still they couldn't understand uh, the separating the Gospels and the, the truth is hid in plain sight. Uh so I'm anxious to get through the book of Ephesians. It's going to be a pretty neat book to, to, to do. So uh, my favorite book. All right. It's where I learned that salvation was a done deal. It's, when I first seen it was in Ephesians. So uh, that's pretty neat. I really like Ephesians. All right. So here we go. We'll get this thing kicked off so I can get back up. And we'll make a road trip. And hopefully I can get a video out in the morning. We'll see how it comes out. All right. We don't know don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just there. All right. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. For you hear of my behavior once in Judaism, that I inordinately persecuted the ecclesia of God and ravaged it. Paul was pretty ornery. He was pretty mean. <clears throat> He'd done a lot of stuff to the ecclesia, didn't he? Now, you did not thus learn Christ, since surely him you hear, and by him were taught, according as the truth is in Jesus. We are thanking the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, always praying concerning you, on hearing of your faith in Christ Jesus, and the love which you have for all the saints, because of the expectation reserved for you in the heavens which you hear before in the word of the truth of the evangel, which 
being present with you, according as in the entire world also, is bearing fruit and growing, according as it is always, uh, according as it is among you also, from the day on which you hear and realize the grace of God in truth. Through the evangel of which I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher of the nations, through whom we obtain grace and apostleship for faith and obedience among all nations for his name's sake. Now to you am I saying, to the nations, inasmuch as, <clears throat> indeed, then I am the apostle of the nations, I am glorifying my dispens dispensation. For I am saying, through the grace which is given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to be overweening beyond what your disposition must be, but to be of a sane disposition, as God parts to each the measure of faith. Now I myself am persuaded concerning you, my brethren, that you yourselves also are bulging with goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to be admonishing one another. Yet more daring do I write to you, in part as prompting you, because of the grace given to me from God, for me to be the minister of Christ Jesus for the nations, acting as a priest of Christ Jesus for the nations, <clears throat> acting as a priest of the evangel of God, that the approach present of the nations may be becoming well received, having been hallowed by Holy Spirit. Thus let a man be reckoning with us as deputies of Christ and administrators of God's secret. For if I should be bringing the evangel, is it not for me to boast in? For necessity is lying upon me. For if it were if it were woe to me, if I should be bringing the evangel. For if I am engaging in this voluntarily, I have wages. Yet if involuntarily, I have been entrusted with an administration. What then is my wage? That in bringing the evangel... Uh... <clears throat> A mosquito got in my way. That in bringing the evangel, I should be placing the evangel without expense, so as not to use up my authority in the evangel. Now, when it delights God, who severs me from my mother's womb, and calls me through his grace to unveil his son in me, that I may be evangelizing him among the nations. For he who operates in Peter for the apostleship of the circumcision operates in me also for the nations, and knowing the grace which is being given to me, James and Cephas and John, who are supposed to be pillars, give to me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship, that we, indeed, are to be for the nations, yet they for the circumcision. To me, less than the least of all saints was granted this grace, to bring the evangel of the untraceable riches of Christ to the nations which to each one of us were given grace in accord with the measure of the gratuity of Christ. I am now rejoicing in my suffering for you and filling up in my flesh, in his stead, the deficiency of the afflictions of Christ. For his body, which is the ecclesia, of which I became a dispenser in accord with the administration of God, which is granted to me for you to complete the word of God, the secret which has been concealed from the eons and from the generations, yet now was made manifest to his saints, to whom God wills to make known what are the glorious riches of this secret among the nations, which is Christ among you, the expectation of glory. In accord with the evangel of the glory, the happy God with which I was entrusted, for this is ideal and welcome in the sight of our Savior, God, who wills that all mankind be saved and come into the realization of the truth. For there is one God, and one mediator of God, and of mankind, a man, Christ Jesus, who is giving himself a correspondent ransom for all, <laughs> the testimony in his own errors, for which I was appointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, a teacher of the nations in knowledge and truth, for which cause I am reminding you to be rekindling the gracious gift of God which is in you 
through the imposition of my hands. For God gives us not a spirit of timidity, but of power and of love and of sanity. You may not be ashamed then of the testimony of our Lord, nor yet of me, his prisoner, but suffer evil with the evangel in accord with our holy calling, not in accord with our acts, but in accord with his own purpose and the grace which is given to me in Christ Jesus before times eonian. Yet now is being manifested through the advent of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who indeed abolishes death, yet eliminates life and incorruption through the evangel of which I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher of the nations. There it is. That's the references <clears throat> to verse 2 of Ephesians chapter 1. So we've got that put together. Uh, it's going to be a great day. I won't add anything to that. <clears throat> we do see a lot of, of uh, references to that about Paul being the evangel for the nations, don't we? <laughs> Definitely there. Definitely there. So anyway, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. And... Uh, We'll get this day kicked off. All right. Let's go see what God's got for us today, shall we? I'll talk to you all tomorrow. See you then.